show you guys what I got during this week. And this was a few days ago I got this. This is a whole capacitor kit. 24 of them I think it is. I think it's over 500 pieces of it. I don't know. You can see how many pieces are they. Probably could be over 500 or probably how many it is. You can do the math. But these are all the capacitors listening categories. You see how they are. The first one is that. And you get this piece here. We'll actually can look at the values on it in a second. But I did put it on the indicator. I can show you one that looks like it. Let me pull this guy out in a second. We're gonna try. We're gonna try one of these here. Let's do the 221 down here. This is the 221. You guys give a focus. But I bought these off at AliExpress. Give me a focus on it so we can see it. Give us a focus. There we go. There it is, 220 U of ferrets. This is supposed to be a uh, supposed to be a 10 volts. So it might not read these things right, but we're going to be putting it on the indicator machine so you guys can see it. But my other one could do this different ones too. Make sure these are lined up. But I bought this uh, during this week. I think it was like 15 bucks. Get on AliExpress. Let's check it out. 200. It's a little bit off. About 20 cycles off. It's only like 20 cycles. No big deal. It's still the same. So it does okay. Gives you a rough idea. But I actually look at some of the parts on my TRC 451. Some of the parts will work for it. It'll be like the 47s they do. Yep, same thing. But if you put it on a different um, one of these machines, another one I actually have, it shows a different result. So we put the 220 back to your case. Some of these were like the thousands. But I'm going to show you all these things that I got. There we go. We got a good focus on these things, what capacitors I have. You guys can take a look at them. What I got for 15 bucks, but it took a month to get it here in December 2022. So I haven't shown this all week because it was all it was like before after it was like after Christmas Day I got it. After around the 26 to 27, I got this round. And everything looks pretty good shape. These are capacitors. We'll go on the radios uh, like the older radios you get, like the like my TRC 451 probably will do. Probably the Sears radio or something like that, or maybe you can do it with a Grant. But it's pretty cool. But this is what uh, 390 Wagmaster was talking about. He bought these off at of Amazon. It's the same one there from Amazon, but it's on Alex Express where you can get it a lot cheaper. And it's a lot cheaper to get it on AlexExpress.com to get these kind of capacitor kits. And they have different parts of stuff, more different um, other um, resistors, transistors, and all that stuff. Some are TV parts and some are mostly for radio parts. Some could be for um, DSL parts, Wi-Fi route parts. It could be anything from TVs to uh, to children toys. That's what some of these things are in. But some of these, if you get them out of older devi uh, devices and stuff to desolder them, they might be able to work for the radios you have. But these are all new. So I got a pretty good deal on this. But the only thing... My TRC 451 had a lot of these. I know I'm looking at uh, the .22s, but mostly a lot of the 477s, the 04.7s U ferrets. They had a lot of these on here in the schematic I've seen online, and they have more more like these. Mostly a lot of 47s or .47s. Some actually had different ones out there, but. Most of these will probably work for some of the radios I have. So I might try these on my TRC-451 later on, not right now. I'll have to check all the capacitors. The one I actually have when I bought it off eBay back three years ago, I think it was in 2021, in early 2021, I bought it for like, it was like a, I think it was like $100, between $90, $90. But it was actually a 10 meter CB radio, but it probably will work on CB. It said it was modified by his granddad. Grand, his grandpa did. It's like this. There's this board in it. Looks like a little circuit board thing. But the whole radio is still original inside. But I'll have to show you some pictures of what it looks like later on. 
to give you an idea but I'll probably replace all the, the capacitors down in the board not on the breadboard the ones they need the ones in there these probably will be able to get the ones I have to look at the ones that are on the schematic and that's how to do it but I'll probably have to do that later on but I'll show you some pictures later on when I get a chance but also I'm going to tell you about my good news um we'll get a radio in a few days I think during this week when I get time I'm going to be showing another radio real soon I bought one for my Christmas gift uh, let's hope it gets here real soon we'll fire this baby up I bought a quad 5 today but I don't know how long it takes to get here when you ship it um, I know where I bought it from but I'll tell you guys later where I bought it from and I'll tell you guys later on that will we recommend because a lot of the ones are mostly that's what it is but you'll be able to know what the radio got the one I've been looking for for almost a year and a half and it's going to be finally here maybe this week or next week or a couple weeks from now I don't know when how long they take but I tell you I got the quad 5 be coming in my mail during you know how long it takes to get here depends where it's at but I'll be able to be getting it real soon uh, I'll have to look at it when I first get it but We'll fire it up, show you that on video. We're probably going to do video gates on it on mobile things. Like my mobile antenna I still have, the one with the Trail 300. We're probably going to be using that thing when we first get it. We'll have to make sure everything tests right and everything because it takes a while when you play with it. And also, I want to talk about UDX-51, um, United Delta X-Ray 151 out of, out of uh, South Carolina. He actually had a great video this week, the Anytone 60, Anytone quad 666 man that was a cool radio he was getting a lot of contacts and also 390 wagon master he did a skip video this week he had a lot of great conditions for the first new year that that's usually the time when utah hits those conditions i'm telling you people um that's usually about right when the normal time of year in winter time when the snowstorms happen in utah that's when you guys get the best skips on the east coast of the united states it depends on during the summer, but in the winter time, you mostly will get the southern United States because I have done it before on a Cobra 139 on a trim on a tr cat twin trim antenna TC9. And when I put it by eight foot put up in the air on the porch, it was like 18 feet in the air, I think it was. It was like a yeah, it was like eight foot off in the air on the porch, and plus eight foot 11 foot in the pole. That's almost like 18 19 feet above what I used to have. And one morning on channel 19 back in uh, I think it was 2019 when it happened. It was 2018 it was. No, it was 2019, the beginning of 2019, around February. I was getting a contact guy out there, out of Alabama, out of Brigham, Alabama, because he heard me all the way down to Alabama because he was in a truck. And he was one of the truckers out of Alabama, heard me 3,000 miles away, and he sounded like a local, really good. He was blowing pretty good in my area. He heard me very well on my Cobra 139 old 70s radio, and we were just talking for a couple minutes. And the skip didn't fade out for a while at all. Just want to let you know that. That was one of the first East Coast contacts I had out of Alabama in Utah. So, just want to let you know, but I'm telling about the United uh, United, United Delta X-Ray 390. He's doing a good job on his video for uh, U, UDX 390. He's doing pretty good. Depends on what it is. But, keep rolling those videos out there, 390 Wagmaster. Yeah, I'm do some more skip videos this week, but... Man, and also we had some great things on OTR um, on New Year's night. New Year's night and had no problems. There were some pretty cool radios, but I really enjoyed the OTR celebrating for New Year's. And everybody had different points um, when 2023 came out that way. And everybody chat on there, but it was a pretty good show that night. Two radios were great, but at least there was no problems he had. Dean, he's doing good for Dennis. So I hope these capacitors I got will work for what I want to do. Just hope they have some luck. But you get them on Allen Express and let you guys want to know. So this is Foxman 362 World Radio. I'm going on out of here because i got to stop this video. And check out my um, TikTok, UDX362. UDX362 on TikTok. So have a good week this week, and I'll bring out some more videos sometime soon.